When you send a crypto transaction it doesn't instantly arrive at its destination. Instead, it enters a kind of digital waiting room known as the mempool, a place most people never even realize exists, but it's absolutely essential to how blockchains work. Imagine a massive, global lobby, constantly buzzing with activity. Here, thousands of transactions from all over the world are gathered together, each one waiting for its turn to be processed and added to the blockchain. It's a non-stop flow, like a digital, grand central station. Every blockchain node, think of them as independent computers running the network, keeps its own version of this waiting list, filled with unconfirmed transactions. These nodes constantly update their mempools as new transactions arrive and old ones get confirmed. It's a lot like a busy airport terminal. Your transaction fee acts as your boarding pass, and just like in airports, those willing to pay a premium get to board first. The higher the fee, the faster your transaction gets picked up by miners and included in the next block. The mempool is the engine room of the blockchain, quietly working behind the scenes to determine which transactions move ahead quickly and which ones get stuck waiting. It's where the real sorting and prioritizing happens. So, when you hear about high gas fees or network congestion, what you're really hearing about is the mempool's current state. If the mempool is crowded, fees go up and transactions slow down. If it's empty, everything moves faster and costs less. Understanding this digital waiting room helps explain why some transactions are confirmed in seconds for pennies, while others take minutes or even hours and cost much more. It all comes down to how busy the mempool is and how much you're willing to pay. The mempool is a crucial piece of the crypto puzzle, connecting users, miners, and the blockchain itself in a delicate balance. Once you understand how the mempool works, the rest of blockchain technology starts to make a lot more sense. It's the missing link that ties everything together. So, let's dive deeper and explore what's really happening inside the mempool. Because understanding this hidden waiting room is key to mastering crypto. The mempool, short for memory pool, is a temporary storage area for unconfirmed transactions. It acts as a digital waiting room, holding on to every transaction that's been sent out but hasn't yet made it onto the blockchain. This is where your transaction goes, right after you hit send, before it's officially recorded forever. When you send crypto, your wallet broadcasts the transaction to the network, and nodes add it to their own mempools if it's valid. Each node checks the transaction for things like proper signatures and enough funds, making sure it follows the rules before accepting it. There's no single mempool, every node has its own version, syncing with others but never perfectly identical. This means that the mempool is a decentralized concept, each computer on the network keeps its own list, and these lists are constantly being updated as new transactions arrive or get confirmed. Think of it as thousands of people each keeping a similar but not identical list of names. Everyone is trying to stay up to date, but small differences can exist from one list to another, depending on what each person has seen. Transactions in the mempool are pending. They haven't been added to the blockchain yet. They're waiting for their turn to be picked up and confirmed, like tickets in a queue at a busy event. Miners or validators select from this pool when building the next block. They often choose transactions with higher fees first, since those offer more incentive, but every valid transaction in the mempool has a chance to be included. Because every node keeps its own mempool, there's no central authority or single point of failure. This design helps keep the network open and fair, since no one can control which transactions are seen or processed. If one node ignores your transaction, thousands of others still have it. Your transaction isn't lost just because a single computer drops it, the network as a whole keeps it alive. This decentralized system keeps the network resilient and censorship resistant. It's designed to withstand attacks, outages, or attempts to block transactions, making it extremely robust. The mempool is the public waiting list that lets a global network agree on which transactions to process. It's where consensus begins, as everyone can see which transactions are waiting to be confirmed. It's the backbone of blockchain's trustless design, ensuring that no single party decides what gets added to the chain. The mempool is where transparency, fairness, and decentralization all come together. Here's what happens when you send crypto. You enter the amount, set a fee, and hit confirm. Your wallet signs and broadcasts the transaction. Nearby nodes check if it's valid and add it to their mempools, then spread it across the network. Now your transaction is pending, waiting in mempools, 
worldwide. Miners or validators scan the mempool, looking for transactions with the highest fees. Blocks have limited space, so higher fee transactions get picked first. Your fee is a tip to get noticed. Once selected, your transaction is bundled into a new block and added to the blockchain. Now it's confirmed permanent and your recipient gets the funds. The journey from mempool to blockchain is complete. That's how your transaction moves from pending to successful. Simple, but powerful. So, why do some transactions get stuck? Let's break it down with a simple analogy. Imagine the blockchain is a busy highway, when too many transactions flood the mempool, like during a big NFT launch or a sudden market surge, it's a digital traffic jam with every car representing a transaction trying to get through. Miners act like toll booth operators, picking the highest fee transactions first. If you pay a higher fee, your transaction gets the fast lane. But if your fee is low, you're stuck in the slow lane waiting your turn as others speed by. If your fee is too low, your transaction might sit in the mempool for hours or even days, especially when the network is busy and everyone's trying to get ahead. Sometimes, if it waits too long, nodes will drop your transaction to save memory. When this happens, your transaction simply vanishes, and you'll need to resend it with a higher fee to try again. Fees aren't fixed, they fluctuate with demand. When more users are on the network, fees spike, just like surge pricing for rideshares during rush hour. Block space is limited, so it's a supply and demand market. Only so many transactions can fit in each block, making competition fierce during busy times. When the network is quiet, fees drop and transactions clear quickly, like cruising down an empty highway with all green lights. If you're not in a rush, you can save money by waiting for off-peak times, letting your transaction glide through when there's less congestion. Understanding how this system works helps you avoid overpaying or getting stuck. You can check current network fees and pick the best time to send your transaction. Timing and fee choice are everything. By planning ahead you can make sure your transaction gets where it needs to go without unnecessary delays or extra costs. Gas fees are your bid for a spot in the next block. Every transaction in the mempool is part of a real-time auction. Highest bidders get processed first. Wallets suggest fees based on current mempool activity, offering slow, average, or fast options. Fast means a higher fee for quick confirmation, slow means a lower fee and a longer wait. This auction system prevents spam and keeps the network running smoothly. If transactions were free, the mempool would be flooded with junk. Gas fees ensure only valuable transactions get through. When the mempool is crowded, fees spike. Think of it as surge pricing for blockchain. Your fee is your ticket pay more for speed, or wait for a bargain. The mempool is where this economic game plays out. Why should you care about the mempool? Knowing how it works saves you time and money. If your transaction is urgent, pay a higher fee. If not, wait for lower network activity. You can check mempool explorers online to time your transactions for cheaper fees. If your transaction is stuck, look it up on a blockchain explorer to see if you underpaid. Some wallets let you speed up stuck transactions by increasing the fee. The mempool reflects the health of a blockchain. High fees and congestion mean high demand. Developers are working on scaling solutions to ease congestion and lower costs. Watching the mempool gives you a real-time view of network activity. It's your window into the blockchain's pulse. The mempool is the unsung hero of blockchain, a decentralized ever-changing waiting room for transactions. It's where supply and demand set the price for speed and where your fee becomes your ticket. Understanding the mempool turns you from a passive user into a savvy blockchain navigator. It keeps the network decentralized, secure, and spam-free. No central authority needed. The mempool is organized chaos, letting strangers worldwide agree on what gets processed next. Once you see it as a digital traffic jam and auction house, it all clicks. The more you learn, the more you'll appreciate how blockchains work. Keep exploring, keep asking questions and dive deeper into crypto. The future is being built now. Understanding the mempool is your first step. Thanks for watching. See you next time.